Good morning, Malta and Gozo, and welcome to another episode of Love and Daily. My name is John Paul Sapati. Today I'm joined by Paula Kalki, and these are your five headlines for today. Malta starts easing out of quasi lockdown with schools first to reopen. Athletes lament the extended ban on organized sports. Prime Minister Robert Abella is confident that enforcement of COVID 19 rules in homes doesn't breach human rights. Man seen holding worker on a safety leash has been identified and spoken to, and every Maltese household is about to receive wildflower seeds. Paula? نبداو بالاول ستوري البيره تهبرو الموت كيف طول دان الشهر سير يكونوا قاعدين يتنهاو ديفيرسي ميزوري تاع ريستريكسيوني من هبه الكوفيد 19 بريباريامنت كان هذيك اللي من نهار اثنين يرجع يبداو ينفتحوا في تفتيت السكيل وتفال يريتورناو فيزيكامنت لورا بالكلاسيات من نهار اثنين يبداو السكيل بريماري من الاربعاء ميدل سكول ومن الجمعه يدخلوا كل السكيل سيكونداري في الوقت اللي السكيل بوست سيكندري يبقاو دايين بمود فيرتوال انكلوزا allora l'università ehm il birat habbaru kollu wel darba li saret li tħabru ser ikunu il misuri li hayt nehawli miss u data li saret tneha ehm u dawn huma non essential retail shops u anke non essential services li jifiri il famous hairdresser u nail technician ser ikunu jistaw yerġu legalment jahdmu من هنا تاهم في 26 تابريل دان بيرو يأكل الكازيت يب أو باشي ونفهم اللي ولاك اللي جيت مهبرة تايم لاين بيجي دكلي يكون إرزا مفتت ملون نفسه بيش يارا للكازيت ما يتلا أو شو شين كلا داتا تا 26 نستنى يدورا تاو تاو ونب أو لا هيد رسال مفتوح. Absolutely. I mean, an end goal here is that obviously by 1st of June Malta. Given that if these restrictions work and the cases start going down, that by 1st of June, you know, Malta will open its borders to tourists and stuff like weddings will be allowed to re re recommence and that will have a, a, a summer filled with tourism. Um, you know, yesterday's uh, uh, measures uh, did raise some debate about whether, you know, people should, children should be going back to school next week, given that last time around um, it coincided with a spike in cases. But Prime Minister Robert Abella defended this decision, saying that, you know, in fact, most teachers have been vaccinated against COVID-19. I think parents as well will be glad that you know their children will once again go be able to go to school um, in person um, instead of staying at home. Um, one community that wasn't unfortunately really happy with yesterday's uh, announcement were athletes um, who you know uh, have spoken out um, against the extended ban on organized sports and num numerous athletes and and. Um, you know, fitness and, uh, instructors and, and, and enthusiasts uh, spoke out online saying that, um, you know, it's unfair that um, organized sports, is, the ban on organized sports has been extended with no real indication on when uh, it will return. Um, these are, you know, primarily um, we're talking about the major leagues here, including the MFA, the Football Association, uh, Aquatic Association, Basketball Association and whatnot, where numerous athletes spoke out, including uh, Malta, team, Malta national football team captain Andrea Juice, as well as um, water polo players like Dino Zamit and swimmers Amy Mikalev. And essentially their, their rhetoric was the fact that, you know, more sports in Malta just can't be taken seriously. Um, and, you know, it can't be taken seriously as a career as well. And, you know, the fact that Malta is the only European country to suspend uh, its major uh, league, sporting leagues this time round um, is testimony to the fact that, you know, like it's, it's practically impossible to create a career, uh, be, a, be a career athlete and compete in international games um, when, you know, the country doesn't take its sports so seriously um, in the sense that, you know, it's still, it's still banned. Uh, you know, in, taking into consideration the fact as well that, um, you know, uh, Malta, the national team has its World Cup qualifiers later on this year um, and Maltese athletes are, some Maltese athletes are expected to go up to the Summer Olympics and the fact that they've had their training uh, halted or disrupted as a result of these these, these extended bans is, is just not a good sign for the athletic community. It's a, it's a setback, understandably so, and a lot of people are frustrated um, that, you know, they're being told that they can't practice the sport and do their duty for the country in, in terms of going to the Olympics and competing internationally. Um, and it's, it's, it's quite a, a shame to see that, you know, it isn't taken as seriously. الفروستراسيون تي في ماولا يا تي في ما كل حد شبه كل حد تري تمر لورا على على هاي النورمالية أو الشغل النورمالية أو الترينينج تي أو وهاتي في مكول اللي 
Okay, għali ma tħabrux li ħajn fetħu għas bi 26 ta' april u jħati maġina li għalin għas l-sports professjonali jiftħu ma jidumux, pero u jħati rit jara u kol il-risk assessment ma mull min l-autoritajit ta' s-saħħa bix jara u jek fil-verita għas didux il-kazijiet bil-contact sports pal-futbol u water polo u dawk il-li u ma' sports individuali minna li jistaw isiru pero mux sports organizzat Nisperaw li numi tal-Covid jinzlu b-talemotu maniera li ma nirġaw xie kolna natu daqqa li l-sports paizna li xeħed daw numa daw numa osservazzjonijt valid s-simi ta' n-sportivi paizna anka daw kili jaspiraw li jamlu karra professjonali bija għadna toħroċa li jom palma toħroċa n-negozjanti kolla li kellom jan u l-biznis u għale kwiħet jappella għal-kawtela u bix s-segwi il-mizuri restrittivi mux bix jekk inti għaddejsi u ti prova tara kif iddur u si pillup għol zemma bix bħala soċċi ta' nistaw nibqaw għaddejjin frit mutajb forsi għadarba għaddejjim ninsew il-kelma mizuri restrittivi u bdina għaddi għall-storja li jimis ta'na illi l-Primministru għabar tabel għal-bira fl-istess konferenzi tal-ħbarijiet għalli għu konfidenti illi il-regoli tal-Covid-19 u ċoja li għallu l-pulizzija jietħlu f'dar f'tijar privati jekk ikun jem suspetti li jem iktar min zewġ households ma tiksir xidrittijiet fundamentali tal-bnide u għet jifem illi dinija wahda min l-iktar mizuri estremi illi t-tihdu f'din s-sena u f-tiċu kamillu l-Covid maħna pero għet jifem u kol illi meta l-autoritajiet talbu li n-nies bix jirristrinġu kemi jajdu nisriġu għandum minajr ma kienem il-possibilta li jitċek jaġaħt jekk inti xe t-segwi li ġi għole nafu kem kena wabuzi nafu kem kena barbecues fuq biut, barbecues fil-ġonna barbecues u parties ħdej il-pool meta bdew il-komplejn jaw il-ġirin li jiet għaw il-ġarti jaj isma jiet jabuza mir-regoli ovjament il-pulizija kienu għat jajdu romi li ma jistaj sirxejna li x din il-regol riddazzjoni jiet jami l-individu. Pal ħafna mizuri li kienu forsi ħafn iktar l-għax kissena li jaddiet din il-darba kellom jieħraxu għalix għalix għahna l-kings and queens ta' loopholes u meta s-tip loophole ma tkunx bisset t-tnejek bil-gvern ma tkunet t-tnejek bil-ġarti jak li jirit jirritorn al-ura għal-xon normali tijaw li bħal l-ssa mu għaf min ħabba l-Covid ġifiri bil-kelma tajba n-nisma semma uħx kellom jitlu bil-forsi pulizija. Yeah, I understand the sentiment of, of, of the rule and, and, and it's, it's, it's good spirit, but I still can't, you know, help but um, feel that it is a somewhat breach of, of human rights, invasion of privacy if, you know, let's say one evening you're listening to music in your house with your family and someone, um, you know, your neighbor suspects that you have multiple people in your house from different households and, you know, all of a sudden soldiers or, or police or lesser are knocking on your door and, and asking to inspect the place. It, you know, does seem to me like it's a somewhat a breach of privacy, even though I do understand the sentiment of, of the legislation. Um, you know, even activist group, um, Civil Society Network, has warned that, you know, that the way that these inspections are being carried out are, in fact, uh, a, a breach of human rights, um, of privacy, and, um, I don't know, it's a bit of a controversial one. I, I get where it comes from, I get the sentiment of it, but at the same time, I'm uncomfortable knowing that police might be knocking on my door if they have any sort of reasonable suspicion that I'm uh, have more than just my family or two families in, in my household. Um, moving to on, on to our fourth story of the day, a man seen holding a worker on a safety leash has been identified and spoken to. So a photo that went viral earlier this week of a you know, man, two men on a construction site would appear to be on a balcony, one man holding another man via, uh, with a safety leash um, while he was on all fours um, doing construction work. Um, the photo went viral in Malta as, it, as everything always does when something construction related uh, pops up. Um, and a lot of people likened it to you know, a man and a dog on a leash. Um, safe to say, it, on first, first impressions, it looked quite unsafe um, as term, in terms of health and safety, which uh, you know, isn't much of a shock in Malta anymore. But apparently the two men have been identified um, with authorities, the Occupational Health and Safety Authority, having spoken to them and uh, to the pair in question. Um, they said that even though they weren't given any information about when the photo was taken and who the pair were, they were able to identify the site and speak to the people in the picture. It's not sure whether you know, any disciplinary action has been taken, but um, while it looks you know, very unusual, very strange and uh, against normal practices, apparently, a safety leash is something that does exist and can be used on construction sites. Um, 
speaking to a construction site manager, Love and Water found out that in fact it's rarely ever used, uh, as seen in the picture um, shown to you. But you know, obviously, people prefer other um, methods to protect workers' safety, and rightfully so, because I, you know, having a look at the photo, I can't imagine what would happen if the man on all fours. Uh, fell off the edge. I, I, I don't believe other guy would be able to hold him up and, and, and pull him back. And yeah, it just doesn't seem safe, even though it is something that is apparently an industry uh, standard. I don't know if it's an industry standard, but I don't know if it's an industry standard. I don't know if it's an industry standard. But the HSA, the Authority of Regular Health and Safety Standards, in the post of the show, appellate to the people who are in the same way. من فلوك يهدو ريترات تلاخ فيسبوك ويب او الدين يقضو الموبايل <تصفيق> ويشامبلو اللو ايش السي بشي الرابورتاو جيفيرو دي كيكو مين رادن الشينا شامبل اللو ايش السي كنو يمرو داك الهين و يمولتاو يكين امشي بريج ما نفوشك يكين شي املا دا دي شي اندستري ستاند اما ويهاتي الرقورا السيطواتيوني داك الهين و مشوارا لا دا الريترات مار فايرل جيفيري فرسي ويهات يتها وهات يبكي شين يرادان الرترات يك نستاو الزومو في مهنة اللي متنا ناو شينا سيه ملي نرابورتاو اللو اللو ايش السي انكونو اتنين ووكتار للسوتشيتا ملي نجمعو اللايكس و الشيرس فو الفيسبوك بروفايل تانا لاحار ستوريا اسرت نمن اللي اتن الدسكوتي كونتروفرسيا فو الزريا نفضل بايس كلو شي سبيتشو في تشنترو تا كونتروفرسيا ملا يدر اللي المنسترو الامبيانت عنون فاروجا حبار اللي الگفرن سر يبدأ نتيجة فينا أسام زرية سبتة ربطية بدفرنتي تفيوري للديار كلا تمالتا مش يصير إذا أتى أنا سبك تارهين في البتي هي يكون نايك تفيوري زبيه ليش يشين هارس أو في الجالري أما نون في تريت البيانتي. بروا هريتش الكانديدات ناتشوناليستا أدو كانديدات. بيتر أجوس. Jew li kien kandidat għal-MP tal-Partit Nazjonalista fi għallu li di li dija kopja minandu għaxu u koll pħala parti mil-kampanja tijaw jietibat envelop u ċufu għom l-nis li jibatu ullu s-sem messaċ biħdax l-zerija differenti u bek li dija ija tal-ekwali għal tijaw għal ovvjament un bat ħarġu l-uffiċjali tal-Ministeru tal-Ambjent jajdu li jisma l-eri dija kienet taħħom l-owe li jimma l-procurement tal-gverni dum bek b'dewa warajom ma nisaċ nemmen li għat niġġil du fuq min ġitu li dija l-owel speċalment jekdi us probli sarib xipa jisi uħor pero laħbar jittajba jie illi ħaj konna ġinien mif uħ fjuri bxie jgrazzi għal daw il-politiċi malti jirin grazzi għu kom Exactly, controversy aside, we'll all be able to plan some nice seas over spring time and and forget the the fact that it's into a show like it'll be into a show like all time i doubt i'll even get these seats to be honest <laughs> with you we'll see anyways with that being said this brings us to the end of today's episode thank you for joining us today and have a day full of loving ciao